Behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. CTA riders are no strangers to tweets like this, warning of delays because of an unauthorized person on the tracks. Yeah, these alerts are from the last few days alone. And just look at this. CBS 2's Morning Insider Lauren Victory shares the story behind this trespassing on the tracks. Sometimes it's an accident. The one on the tracks bleeding pretty bad once you uh, send an ambulance. On August 22nd, a man slipped onto the rails at the Wilson Red Line station after he was beat up by two people. Others land in the path of Chicago Transit Authority trains to end their lives. Whatever the reason, we analyzed CTA's own tweets and found commutes have been delayed because of unauthorized people on the tracks at least 50 times since CTA told me this. One person on the tracks is one too many. That interview was three months ago. Just last week, a CBS2 viewer snapped this. A young man and woman in the train's path steps from the deadly electrified third rail. The witness from the Thorndale Red Line asked to remain anonymous. He had to go back into his booth. As she describes the panicked experience running to alert the station attendant. Being able to hear the train go over and thinking like, well, I hope that somebody got her off because if not, you know, something bad just really happened. It was pretty traumatizing. CTA's Vice President of Communications, Brian Steele, sat down with me in July to discuss CBS2's investigation. We found that people wound up on CTA's tracks almost 600 times in two years. Steele repeated more than once that we needed to keep our data in context. The number of instances in which people go onto the tracks, fortunately, are a very, very small percentage of the overall ridership that we provide. And CTA's solution to this issue is a very, very small percentage of its budget. In fact, Steele said they're redesigning safety ads and not spending a dime to do it. Everything is in-house. Even the models are CTA employees, as they were in these ads from a few years ago. How can you be sure that your educational campaign is, is working and what else can you do? Well, I think we know that it's working because we still see dialogue via our customer feedback channels that people have seen the ads and understand the ads. These two people must have not understood. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Lauren asked several times, but CTA would not say if they're investigating the incident at Thorndale or any of the 50 other times people have been on the tracks in recent months. CTA also ignored our request for update changes they said they'd make over the summer. That part of the story coming up tonight at 10. Yasmeen, 